And thanks for joining us tonight. For the time being, there will be one less option for people looking to get vaccinated against coronavirus. Today, both the CDC and FDA recommend pausing the use of the single-dose Johnson & Johnson shot. They say it's out of an abundance of caution after a handful of rare, potentially dangerous blood clots were reported. We have team coverage tonight hearing from local health professionals and area vaccinators and their plans moving forward. We begin with Amanda Quintana with the real risks of getting that particular vaccine. Amanda? Yes, well, if you got Johnson & Johnson, really, there's no reason to worry. It's very likely that this doesn't affect you at all. Six women out of almost 7 million people who got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine developed these blood clots. But there are still a few reasons why this pause was recommended. This is proof that our federal agencies are, first of all, monitoring safety. They've identified these cases, and secondly, that they're taking action to... DHS Deputy Secretary Julie Willems Van Dyke hopes that Wisconsinites see the move to pause Johnson & Johnson shots as proof the procedure is safe, not a reason to avoid a shot. It gives the CDC and FDA time to investigate these six cases, all a combination of blood clots and low blood platelets. One case ending in death, another woman hospitalized. It does seem like a small number, but these are very serious cases. The disorder is unique, treatment opposite of what you'd normally do for blood clots. Identified a new illness that a month ago we didn't know existed. And while it's important to fully characterize it, it makes very good sense. It's very appropriate to pause on, on administering the vaccine to let everyone catch up quickly. Not only is this reaction new, it's extremely rare. Johnson & Johnson has made up less than 5% of the vaccine doses given out in Wisconsin. Pfizer makes up more than half of the doses given out and Moderna about 43%. If we look at the numbers, six cases of blood clots and the 6.8 million doses given across the U.S., that means if every single person in Wisconsin got the Johnson & Johnson shot, only about five would experience a blood clot. About 160 60,000 people have received a Johnson & Johnson shot in Wisconsin. Based on the number of cases found so far, each person has a .0001 or one in a million chance of developing a blood clot. But remember, this is still being investigated. There's no proof that the vaccine caused these blood clots. The next few days are for figuring that out. If you got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and you felt flu-like symptoms, that is normal. Symptoms for these blood clots include severe headache, abdominal pain, leg pain, and shortness of breath in the next two to three weeks after your shot. So if you have those, call your doctor.